PHP within a JavaScript function within a React component. You don't think this code can actually work? Well, let me tell you, it can. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how I made PHP work from right within React components. Vercel recently introduced the newest version of Next.js, the widely popular framework for React. And on stage they showed this, an implementation for what they call server actions, a way to execute server-side JavaScript code right from within React components. Let me just take a second to talk about what we are looking at. This is an SQL query within a JavaScript function, within an HTML button, within a JavaScript function. And the internet went wild. Many people were reminded of the old days of PHP, where you would just write PHP blocks right within the HTML. And Vercel even acknowledged that themselves. So last but not least, I want to give a shout out to the visionaries, the risk takers, the ones who dared to go deeper. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> PHP. They had it right all along. More server, simpler programming model, the OG serverless. You deserve your accolades. <laughs> Love you, PHP. Have we gone full circle? It looks like PHP. It smells like PHP. What if we could actually make it PHP? What if we could make use PHP? Well, you've seen the title of this video. Let me introduce you to Use PHP for Next.js. Executing PHP code from right within front and JavaScript code is nothing I'd ever thought I wanted to see. But here we are. For this to work, we used the new server actions introduced by Vercel in the latest Next.js version. The PHP code will run inside a Next.js server function. But what about the usePHP directive? Where does that come from? To make usePHP possible, I added a nasty pre-processing step to the build process. Before Next.js actually compiles the application, all usePHP blocks in the source code are replaced by server actions that execute the PHP code. On the client side, this will invoke an HTTP POST request to an endpoint that Next.js automatically creates for server actions. On the server side, the PHP code will be executed by spawning a new process which runs the code through the PHP command line interface and returns the output via HTTP response. That way, we can basically execute anything. And that's it. Now we can use use PHP inside our Next.js application. We can make updates to the database exactly like Vassell showed us, but with PHP. This syntax does only work for server components though, which are basically components that can be fully rendered on the server. If we want to use server actions in client components, we have to split it into a separate file and declare the file as a server file by using use server. Use PHP got you covered there as well, just adding the use PHP directive inside of one of the functions and importing the function into your client component will make sure that you can use your PHP code within client components as well. That way, we can for example fetch information by executing PHP code on the server and showing the result to the user. This project was heavily inspired by React UC and React Use Rust on GitHub by El Nadu, whom I might have liberated some code from. All GitHub repositories are linked in the description. Whether you like it or not, you can use Use Server in your Next.js projects now. And use PHP technically too. But you really shouldn't. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next one.